Imagine facing an enemy you consider beneath you, only to be utterly defeated. Today, we're uncovering three epic battles where arrogance led to downfall. First, let's press the subscribe button as we travel back to 53 BC to the scorching deserts near Carre. Here, a Roman army faced the Parthian Empire in a clash marked by disastrous overconfidence. Roman commander Marcus Licinius Crassus, driven by greed and the pursuit of glory, ignored critical advice about the Parthians. His hubris blinded him to the dangers ahead. In the brutal battle that followed, the Parthians, using cunning tactics and their elite cavalry, decimated the Roman legions. The Romans, unprepared for such warfare, faced a humiliating defeat. After Crassus's death, the Parthians, in a symbolic act mocking his thirst for wealth, reportedly poured molten gold into his mouth. This defeat not only ended Crassus's ambitions, but also marked a significant blow to Rome's eastern expansion plans. Now, let's head to 1415, to the muddy fields of Agincourt. The French, armed and numerous, faced an English army weakened by disease and exhaustion. The French nobility, in their heavy armour and confident in their martial prowess, displayed blatant arrogance. One nobleman infamously boasted, let them come, they are only English. However, the English longbowmen turned the battle into a nightmare for the French. Their arrows cut down the French knights, turning their numbers and armour into liabilities. This catastrophic defeat plunged France into chaos and political turmoil. It showcased the dangers of arrogance in warfare and altered the course of the Hundred Years' War. Finally, we journey to 1879, to the Battle of Isandlwana in South Africa. The British Empire, at the height of its power, met the Zulu Kingdom. The British, with their advanced weapons, viewed the Zulu warriors as an insignificant threat. Lord Chelmsford, the British commander, grossly underestimated the Zulus, leading to a perilous overconfidence. But the Zulus, using superior tactics and intimate knowledge of the land, outmaneuvered and overwhelmed the British forces. This defeat shattered the myth of British invincibility and sent ripples of disbelief through the empire. The best army on earth was beaten by savages. Isandlwana remains a stark reminder of the perils of underestimating one's enemy, no matter their technological or numerical disadvantages. From the deserts of Kare to the fields of Agincourt and the hills of Isandlwana, history is rife with lessons on the dangers of arrogance. These battles remind us of the crucial need for respect and caution in the face of conflict.